How do you like my underwear? Catnap! Welcome home. What do you think of this underwear? Do you like it? You know, you shouldn't have sent me those pictures. You know, I might see that picture in front someone. Hey, what about underwear? Did you like it? I prefer my underwear a little cleaner. Is that your preference? Is that what you like? Hey, is that right? Hey, hey. He doesn't say much about his preferences, so it's nice to know. I have a few more if you don't like the first one. Is this the kind of thing you prefer? What do you mean by beautiful underwear? You mean white underwear? What do you think of this outfit, Dog Day? Help me, somebody. Do you have trouble getting Catnap to ask you about your clothing and underwear preferences? Why don't you just say it? You know, it's common to want to get closer to your lover's tastes. I mean, I don't feel comfortable asking my friends about that kind of situation. Eh? I'm getting too close to my own taste. I don't know if I can stand her. Ha! A farce between lovers. Ah. Uh, you really sold yourself so easily. Didn't you? Tell me why, Catnap. Oh, but you don't get it, old friend. Huh? He is our god. He'll free us, feed us, and I'll follow his orders even if I have to kill myself for it. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> ah, it hurts! Ivan! Ivan, please marry me. Wow! Huh, are you kidding me? I mean it sincerely. Who are you? Let me go! Okay, wait until my tour is over. I will consider marrying you. Are you willing to wait? What can I do for you? No problem. I'll wait for you to come back. Marry me then. Hey, Catnap, I've been thinking. Do you have any dreams? Hmm. That's a tough question. I suppose I've never really given it much thought. It's hard to say what my dreams are when I'm not even sure what I want out of life. Well, what about you, Dog Day? Do you have a dream? Yes, actually, I do. It might sound a bit silly, but I dream of us having a second version of ourselves. But not just any second version, a bigger and more exciting one. I envision us embarking on grand adventures and experiencing all sorts of thrilling escapades together. Oh, like a larger-than-life version of ourselves? That sounds intriguing. Exactly. I imagine us as larger-than-life characters brimming with personality and charisma. We'd be unstoppable, conquering obstacles and achieving greatness at every turn. But wouldn't a bigger version of us be a bit... intimidating? Um, not exactly what I had in mind, hey, huh? Dog Day, there's something I've been wanting to say. I want... I want to hold your hand. Oh, your hands are so small. What? Do I have small hands? I won't leave it like this. I must be the winner in this game. I have small hands, but not for long. I want to kiss so bad, should I ask? Is he gonna kiss me first? What if my breath stinks? Does he think it's bad? He's probably thinking about that. Oh God, what do I do? Want a kiss? Does he read my thoughts? Sure, yes. It's just a simple, innocent kiss on the cheek, Catnap. There's no need to read into it any further than that. Although I must admit, I wouldn't mind something a little more passionate. However, a kiss on the cheek is still a lovely gesture. How about we up the ante a bit? How about a kiss on the forehead? Now that would be unexpected. But you know what? Regardless of where your kisses land, I cherish each and every one of them. Although, if I had to choose a favorite, it would have to be your kisses on the lips. There's something undeniably special about the intimacy and connection they convey. Please be careful, my angel. Catnap would like to join us. You love it, right? Catnap? I need to go now. Ah! Since when did I give you the right to make such decisions? Stay with me. You have no right to refuse. What are you doing? Dog day! <laughs> Dog day! Sometimes I wonder what pork tastes like. Uh... 
Hello, Dog Day. Ah! Thanks, Angel. Don't worry, I have more thread if it breaks again. <laughs> you are so beautiful, Angel. <laughs> Dog Day. Catnap. <sighs> Catnap? It's true, you smell like vanilla. Hey, Catnap, I think you should get a job in some Walmart or place like that, so you can smile and talk to more people. Dog Day. You know best that no one I hate smile at strangers and socialize. Apart from that, I would never go to work to a Walmart. Later. I want to go home. I only do this for Dog Day. Hello, my name is Catnap. What do you need? Catnap, why are you working at Walmart? You look very funny in the uniform. <laughs> I sleep. Hey, Hoppy, do you think Catnap is doing well? You'll see, Dog Day. Everything will be great with Catnap. You're fired! Dog Day is going to kill me. I should prepare some food for Catnap. He will surely, he will come hungry. <coughs> hmm? Who is it? Maybe it's kicking. Catnap? Hello, Dog Day. It looks like I got out earlier. Catnap, my dear friend. Forgive me if I seem a bit puzzled, but I couldn't help but notice that object in your hand. What exactly are you holding there? What? Oh, this? It's, uh, nothing, Dog Day. Just a little something I picked up earlier. No need to worry about it. It's great that you are watching this video. I would like to tell you about our friendship with Catnap. Oh, Catnap seems a little shy. But don't worry, he'll relax once he gets to know you better. In fact, Catnap has an incredibly good personality. He is kind, always comes to the rescue and knows how to support any conversation. He also supports me in my drawing hobbies and always praises my drawings. I am very happy that I have Catnap and I wish everyone had such a friend. I maintain my impeccably silky fur through diligent grooming habits. I make it a point to meticulously lick my fur at least twice daily, ensuring that it remains soft and lustrous at all times. You're a sick idiot, Catnap! Let me help you, Dog Day. Please, someone save me. I can't stand another minute of this. Watch out, Catnap. It's an attack. You have the right to lie down, not move and accept hugs. Well, I can also bite you, but it's out of great love, honestly. Yeah! Oh, Dog Day. I can make you regret attacking me. For example, how do you feel about tickling? No, 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 please don't, Catnap. Okay, okay. Then I'll just hug you for a long, long time until you get tired of it. I will never get tired of hugging you, Catnap. Oh, Dog Day. I stumbled upon this exquisite daisy, and its beauty instantly reminded me of you. I couldn't resist picking it for you as a token of my appreciation. Oh, Catnap, this is truly touching. Thank you ever so much for this thoughtful gesture. Five minutes later. And he gave me a daisy. Can you imagine? That's very nice, Dog Day. But be careful. Maybe Catnap just wants something in return from you. Oh, no, no, I'm not like that. Later that night. It's not what you think, Crafty Corn. 